Wow. Mm. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi. Welcome to our memorial exhibition. Oh, How wow. could I help you? Mm, well, I'm looking at pictures of battles, numbers, and these must be warriors. Is yes, it true? You are right, dear. Mm -hmm. They are known as warriors of Malaysia oh. because they fight against the colonizers mm -hmm. of Malaysia like Britain and Japan. And for oh. your information, it happened in the 19th century. So he's the Dol Said. We have Dol Said, Datu Maharaja Leila, mm -hmm. Antanum, and Matkilau. Oh, they are, I think they I... fight against the colonizers in the 19th century. So they must be historians that are very important in our lives yes. to remember. Yes. But then you mentioned about 19th century. Hmm, which period is that? And when did that happen? Well, dear, mm -hmm. 19th century is a hundred years ago. <gasps> and for your kind information, now mm -hmm. we are living freedomly because of them mm -hmm. in the 21st century. 21st century? <gasps> TV KPM Hello, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera everyone. You're watching another show of Didik TV KPM for our Level 2 Primary School. And today we are learning Mathematics in DLP or Dual Language Program with me for the whole one hour, Shafiqah Farahin Razali. And today we'll be learning about relationship, but not just any relationship. To know more about our topic today, we'll have in the studio with us our very very own teacher, our mathematics teacher, Miss Kalai. Hi, Miss Kalai. How are you? Hi, Shafika. I'm fine. How about you? I'm great, and I'm more than happy to see you clad in sari today. Thank ready you. to. <laughs> we've been together for about three times already. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, every time I learn in Miss Kalai's class, it's a very fun lesson, but also challenging. That's why in mathematics DLP we must stay focused, right, Miss Kalai? Yes, you're right. Okay, so a bit about our topic, but before that, Miss Kalai. As usual, we have to practice our SOP in the studio because we haven't won against COVID-19. Thus, you have to wear your face mask, maintain a social distance of at least one meter like me and Ms. Kalai right now. We're maintaining at least two meters here and also wash your hands frequently. If you don't have a water source nearby, please wear your hand sanitizer. All right, for that very reason, Ms. Kalai, I invite you to use our hand sanitizer provided on the table. All right, just now, Ms. Kalai, I gave a bit of a hint on what we're going to learn, that is relationship. But what relationship are we learning about, Ms. Kalai? Mm. Okay, Shafika. Uh, as the wife, wise people say, mm -hmm. time is precious, and then time and tide wait for no man. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's about relationship uh, between units of time. Ah, units of time. That's why we touched a bit on time just now when yes. you mentioned about 19th, 19th, 19th century. century. And also we the... are in the passage of the years, ah. of the time. Right, and right now, speaking, right now we're on the we're in the 21st First century. century. That means how many years have gone by? I'm sure it's loads and loads of years. But to learn more about that, you have to wait a bit. Ms. Kalai, perhaps we can talk a bit about what we're going to learn today. Mm -hmm. Okay, dear. Okay. All right. Uh, since we are talking about time, yes. uh, may I ask you what elements do you know in time? Like uh, what we measure, how we measure the time? How we measure the time in terms of like as timing, I think we can use AM or PM. But then I don't think you're even talking about that. Mm, you're talking about something else. Yes, I think perhaps you're dear. talking about okay. maybe one year or two years or one month or two months like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have measurements in the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you say out the measurements in okay. the screen? Yes. As shown on the screen, we have seconds, decades, months, hours, years, days, millennium, weeks, 
century and also minutes. Yes, ah. so you are right, Shafika. So mm -hmm. all these are measurements that we use to measure the passage of the year uh, of the times, as uh, as I said just now. Okay. Right. Do you know what is millennium? Millennium. Hmm. I think it's more than a decade. It's more than a century. Perhaps, Miss Kalai, millennium. I think it's one thousand years. Yeah. I will let it know mm -hmm. after this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, as for the today learning objective, okay, right. at the end of this learning session, mm -hmm. people out there at the home will able to develop knowledge on the passage of the time mm -hmm. and then state the relationship at what uh, Shafika said just now between millennium, centuries, decades and years mm -hmm. and as well as convert. We have conversion of units today, right. convert units of time involving mm -hmm. hours and days, days and weeks. Mm -hmm. Months and years, and as well as years, decades, and centuries. Right, and there you have it, our learning objectives today. So perhaps, uh, pupils, you can uh, take out your pens and pencils and write down all your notes on your note paper. And we'll be right back after this with those activities. So don't go anywhere. I'll see you back on Didi TV KPM. Mathematics, time is the ongoing and continuous series of events that occur one after another from the past through the present to the future. Hello pupils, welcome back to class today. We're learning the subject of Mathematics DLP with me, Kak Pika, and also Miss Kalaivani Supya from SJKT Rawang, Selangor. And today we're going to be focusing about relationship involving units of time. Just now, Miss Kalai also introduced to us the uh, examples of time involved. But just now, as you can see from our screen, it is said that time is a continuous element that uh, occurs in the past and until now. So it's very interesting that it doesn't stop. It goes on yes. forever, right, Ms. Yes. Kalai? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we've known about our learning objectives. So what is the first okay. activity we're doing so today? So for the first activity, mm -hmm. well, let me introduce you the relationship. Okay. Okay. Here. okay. So you can look at the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Relationship involving units of time. Mm -hmm. One millennium is what I asked you just now. And you also answer correctly. Right. One millennium is correct to... Uh, equals to thousand years. Thousand yes, years. Okay. Yes. And then we have one century. One mm -hmm. century equals to hundred years. And we also have one decade. One decade is equals to ten years. Right. And we can tell it in vice versa also. Okay. That means thousand years equals to one millennium. Mm -hmm. Hundred years is equals to one century. And ten years is equals to one second decade. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as for your information, Shafika. Right. So we are in the third millennium now. Third millennium of AD. Okay. Third we have millennium. first millennium. Mm -hmm. BC, uh, first millennium AD, mm -hmm. second millennium AD, and third millennium AD. So we are now in the third millennium of AD, mm -hmm. and year 2021. Yeah, we are in the year 2021, right? And it is in the 21st century, dear. 21st okay. century, right? Don't get it confused, okay, pupils? Look at the screen provided and know exactly, and don't switch it around, right, Miss yes. Kalai? Okay, <laughs> move on. Okay, so we also can tell that one millennium is equals to thousand years and also equals to ten centuries. Why mm -hmm. so? Um, because uh, previously I introduced one millennium is equals to thousand years. And right. Why we say it is equals to ten centuries? Uh, because uh, one uh, a century is a hundred years. So that means um, uh, hundred times. 10, 10 equals to 1,000 years. So years. We yes. also can name that 1 millennium mm -hmm. equals to 10 centuries. Right. And same goes to 1 century is 100 years as mm -hmm. we all know. And we also can tell it is 10 decades. Right. Why dear? <laughs> because 10 decades times 10 yes. is 100. Yes, 1 uh -huh. decade is equals to 10 
Ah uh, yes. So 10 tickets, 10 times 10, as what Shafika tell, it is mm -hmm. equals to 100 years. Okay. So everything is multiples of 10. Okay. Right. 10, 100, 1000. So kids out there, I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. So you have to memorize this uh, relationship. Okay. Okay. So one millennium, I repeat, one millennium equals to 1000 years, and at the same time goes to 10 centuries. Mm -hmm. One century equals to 100 years, and same time goes to 10 decades. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one decade, as we all know, it is equals to 10 years. Yes. Okay. So, Shafika, shall we do some activity here? I think I'm ready for that. Okay. What activity As are we usual, doing? Mm -hmm. You have, can see the cards here. Okay. I want you to pair it according to the right uh, relationship. Okay, Miss Kala, I'm ready. All yeah, right. You can um, go. We can ask people at home to do it together with me. Okay, first we have one millennium. Hmm, 100 years, 10 years. It's 1,000 years. Yes. This was the first question you asked me. So, yes. it has to be correct. Okay. One millennium is equals to thousand, one thousand years. years. You're right here. Okay. Okay. How about the following? Next one, we have one decade. How long is one decade? I think it is ten years. Miss Kalai, there you go. Yes, you are right. Mm -hmm. One decade is equals to ten years. And then the last one, we have one hundred years, and also it is. A century or one century? Yes, one century ah. is equal to 100 years. Okay? Right. Did you get this right, pupils? Make sure you got it right, okay? All right, Miss Kalai. So, Shafika, mm -hmm. can you tell them accordingly? Okay, so the first one is one millennium, which is 1,000 years. Second is one century, which is 100 years. And one decade, which is... 10 years. Yes, we also mm -hmm. can tell that one millennium is equals to 10 centuries mm -hmm. and uh, one century equals to 10 decades. 10 decades. Okay. okay. So, uh, is that enough for you? I think I can test you more. Okay, <laughs> let's have more quizzes. I want to test you more. Okay, okay. yes, got some self test. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I want Shafika complete the following and you okay. can show the answers. Using show, these yes, flash yes, cards. Multiples of 10, okay. yes. All right. So, can so you start? The first, uh, the first line says 10 decades is how many years? Yes. Ah, this is easy. Uh, 10 decades. 10 decades. 10 you decades. have to say clearly one decade. You have to re go back to go the back relationship. To that. Okay. So, one so decade, one decade is, is 10, 10 years. Yes. So, how about so 10, 10 decades, decades is equals times to? 10 equals 100. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh -huh. At the same time, 10 decades equals to? 10 decades equals to how many centuries? Century? Because mm. you have 100 there. Yes. Yes. So it's. Oh no! Oh, it's actually uh. one century! <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, you got me challenged in the morning. Okay, so one century because it's 10 decades. So students so, here, they have to refer to the relationship. Right. That's why I emphasize the relationship first. Mm -hmm. From the relationship, then you can attend the. Uh, questions. Questions. Okay. So that means because uh, one century is 100 years. Yes. So to make 100 years, you have to have 10 decades. Yeah, ah, you're right. Okay, okay so can you show one. again? One, 10 decades equals to? 10 decades equals to? 100. 100. 100 years. At the same go. time, it is? Uh huh. It is equals to one equals century. Equals to one century. century. Okay. So this is for the first line. Yes. Okay. One hundred and to the one. Second one. Okay. Yes. All right. And then we have the next line is ten centuries equals to how many years? Wow. The the question is ten centuries. centuries. So we have to refer to the relationship Cent of century and years. So right. one century is equals to hundred years. We hundred have to years. keep on telling this because then mm -hmm. only students will grasp it fastly. Okay. Right. Yes. Because one century is one hundred years. That means ten centuries. Ten centuries is one hundred times. 10. So that is 1000. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so 1000 is is equals to how many millennium dear? One millennium. Yes. Now you got it. Yes. I think <laughs> super, the momentum is super there. Super fast. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> next. We we'll go on. faster. One century is how many years? Okay. Yes, this so, is straightforward. Right. So one yes. century is 100 years. So that means it's 100 years. Yes. And then and how the many same decades? time, 100 years is equals to how many, how many decades? decades? It's 10 decades. Yes, because why? Because uh, one, uh, decade one decade is, is 10, 10 years. years. So we have 100 years there, so mm -hmm. it is equal to 10 decades. Right. Yes. Okay, did you get that right? Yes. Okay, let's do this it together with me. analytic thinking. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> it gets harder and harder. Yes. Okay, and then we have one decade, one decade. is how many years? Yes. This is easy, Miss easy for you. Mm -hmm. 10, Ten years. years, yeah, okay. you are right. One okay. millennium is how many years? 
1,000 yes, years. And 1, then we years. have one millennium is how many centuries? It's... Uh, because one century is 100 years. So it's 10 centuries. Yes, you're ah, right. Okay, okay, super good. Thank you, Skalai. I hope everyone got I it right like as well. I like you very much because you can understand the relationship between millennium, uh, centuries and years as well. So that means once uh, pupils understand the relationship, they can make conversion very easily. Yes, and they okay. can apply that in their daily life. Right, okay. so that means, Ms. Kalai, if we talk about millennium and years and century and decade, we can even choose other words in our vocabulary and make them more interesting. Sometimes people ask us when we talk about one decade, a decade, uh, let's say, sometimes people don't even know how many years yes, that is. Yes. So we give out uh, new information. Because we are not used to that word, decade. We are not used. Are used to years, right? Right. Ah. So, mm -hmm. so I, I'm pretty sure people who learn, who are learning today, they can apply it in your daily lives. Talk to your parents, talk to your sisters and brothers, and make use of the vocabularies that you learn from today. Okay, Miss Kalai, a bit about what we're going to do next. Shall we have a break first? We have, <laughs> of course. Let's have a break, and then we have a bit of uh, activities, more activities to go. But before that, Miss Kalai, I would like to also uh, remind our students that we do have other. Um, perhaps units of time, like you said just now, seconds, hours and minutes uh, and so on. Are we going to discover more about that? Yes, after this mm, year. <laughs> that is why I was so excited to learn. Okay, pupils, we'll be going for a short break and we'll be right back on Direct TV KPM. Mercury, a day is two years long. Welcome back to Didi TV KPM for our level 2 primary school students and today we're going to be learning about relationship between units of time. Still with me here is Ms. Kalaivani Supia from SJGT Rawang Selangor and just now we've learned a bit about how to convert millennium, decades, years, oh, Forgive me, centuries. Ah, and right now, a bit uh, just now, we were entertained with a video of how to convert days and weeks. But I'm sure we're going to delve more into that, right, Miss Kalai? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I believe that kids out there enjoyed the video just now. Shafika, did you watch the video? I did, but uh, that's a lot of memorization. So I, perhaps <laughs> we have to do a bit of activities we, to remember. Yes, dear. We mm -hmm. call it relationship. At the same time, if that is the formula to convert, okay? Right. So, um,. I want to challenge you now. Okay. okay. 125 years. years. Can you convert these to mm -hmm. months? <gasps> Two months. Mm, okay, how much to, time do I have? I think it's about... Miss Kalai, I think I have to use a calculator for this. Uh, I think it's about... You want to use marker? Uh-huh. Okay. One to five years is how many months? So one year, there's 12 months. Therefore, I will need to times one to five with 
12. All right. Hmm, I think this is about one, uh, five. Miss Kala, I'm not sure. I think it's a lot of calculations going on. Hmm, I think I, it's about I... 251. No, my Shafika. No, my Shafika. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Be calm, my dear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me introduce the right way to convert these years to months. Okay. okay. Yeah. So same goes to the students out there. Okay. Now, shall we look at this conversion of units of uh, time? Okay. okay. We have hours and days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the relationship is one day is equals to twenty four hours. We all know at that uh, we have. 24 hours in one day. Okay. okay. How to convert? Okay. To convert it uh, from day to hours, we have to times by 24. Ah, okay. okay. And from hours to day, we divide by 24. Ah. It is vice versa. From days to hours and hours to day. day. From days to hours, what suppose we do, Shafika? From day to hours times yes. 24. Yes. From, from hours, hours to, to day, day, divide by 24. 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next. Okay. We have... Days and week. Another mm -hmm. uh, partner is, another terms is days and week. Okay? okay. So, how many days are there in a week? Uh, there's seven days. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Okay, so we have seven days in a week or one week equals to seven days. Okay, to convert week to day, we have to times by seven. Okay. And convert day to week, we have to divide by seven. Okay. Ah. Again, Shafika, from week to day, what we must do? From week to day, we have to times seven or multiply seven. And from day, day to, to vice versa, to day vice to week. Versa. Divide by seven. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my goal. Okay, so we have another one. Okay, we have months and years. Okay. okay. So how many months are there in a year, baby? That's 12 months. <laughs> yes, 12 months. Mm -hmm. And which is your month of birth? Um, It just <laughs> passed. Wait, it was a few months back, August, Miss okay, Kalai. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So... Uh, so, as what Shafika said, we have 12 months in a year, right. okay, or one year equals to 12 months. So, to convert uh, year to months, we mm -hmm. times by 12. Why we must times by 12? We refer back to the relationship because, because one year is equals to 12, 12 months. months. Okay. And vice versa, months to year, we divide by 12. Okay. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So, can you repeat? Years to months, what suppose From... to we do? Suppose we do? From years to months, we have to times by 12 and then vice versa from month to years, we have to divide by 12. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's time to do. test you. Okay, <laughs> alright. Okay, I have set a question here, another uh -huh. self-test. Okay, Shafika, can you tell me 4 days equals to? How many hours? Yes. So a day has 24 hours. Yes, yes. You can tell verbally if you know or you can uh, perform the Okay, I think I can year. remember in my memory. Okay, so one day has 24 hours. So four days must times by four. So 24 hours times four is... Mm, that needs fast calculation. I think that's about 96. 96, yes. Ah. You just tell the uh, working what we must do. Okay. okay. For right. To change... Mm -hmm. To convert, um, yes, to convert the units, we need to uh, remember how to yes, do it. Yes, now for this, uh, right. how many hours? Four right, days for this equals to 96, 96 hours. hours. Okay, second. 12 okay. days equals to how many hours, dear? 12 days. So I must times 12 by 24. Why? Why so? Because um, it's asking about hours, how yes. many hours. In one day, there's 24, 24 hours. hours. So, 12, so 12 days, days equals to? Equals to times 24. Yes, it will be 288 hours. <laughs> wow, you have a calculator in your head. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, just okay. multiples of 24, right? Okay, uh -huh. third one, uh, convert me 13 years to months. 13 right. years to months. 13 years, 13 two years two months. months. So we have to refer to the mm -hmm. uh, relationship. Okay. One year equals to? 12 months. Yes. Uh -huh. so, so 13 years, two months? 13 times 12. Yes. Mm. So what will you get? I think we will get um, 100. 100. 100 and how 56, many is that? 56. 56. 56 months. That's what I was okay. going to say. <laughs> okay, now a bit easier for you. How mm -hmm. about 15 weeks? How many days there? 15 weeks, how many yes. days? So, 7. In one week, there's 7 days. So, 15 must times by 7, which is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 105. Yeah, you're mm. right. Super. Okay. <laughs> 105. Okay. Right. Now, 7 years equals mm -hmm. to how many months? 7 years, how many months? Okay. 
back to the uh, relationship. Yes, you tell me the relationship. Okay. One year equals so two. So one year equals two, 12 months. So we need seven years. So 12 times seven. And the answer is 84. Times uh, multiplication of 12, right? Okay. Right. So you just get to 84 months. Okay, mm -hmm. now, just now I wrote it right. 125 years equals mm -hmm. to how many years and months? Okay, 125 years. How many years? This one become hot question already. Yes. <laughs> equals to how many years? Okay. And months. Ah, because there's extra months there, right, Miss yes. Kalai? Yes. Okay, that means um, uh, the relationship is because one year has 12 months. So that means, uh, first of all, we need to uh, divide because the formula from years to uh, months is divide. Okay, right, so Kalai? we divide this by 12. Are you sure? Oh, 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 I'm getting it wrong there. 125 years, yes, how two? many months? Months, right. Okay, mm -hmm. 12 then. Okay, so that means um, 125 is about, that's about 10 years and 5 months. Am I yeah, right? Yeah, you are right. Because why mm. 10 years here? 10 times 12 is 120. Right. And we have 5 balance here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, 5 months. You are super good. Okay. Ah, so, okay. this is a high order thinking question for you. It is. It's <laughs> okay, hot thinking. Okay, last one. Mm -hmm. 132 hours equals to how many days and hours? Okay, so the relationship between hours and days, there's 24 hours in one day. So, that means how many days for 132 from hours to days we have to divide by 24? Because that means, my dear? Because it's hours to days. So 132 divided by 24. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get? So I'll get around um, 120. Um, I think that's about 5. Yeah. 5 days. 5 because 5 times by 24 we will get 120. Mm -hmm. So 132 we minus 120 we have balance 12. 12 yeah, you can write it. 12 on the on, on the on the year. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right Miss Kalai. So 12 5 days and 12 hours. Oh, okay, so okay. 132 hours we have 5 days and 12 mm -hmm. hours in there. Okay. Right, so that means Ms. Kalai. So what you learned just mm -hmm. now, Shafika? Mm -hmm. uh, I learned that uh, conversions, there's a formula towards conversion and don't mix up between the multiply and also divide and don't mix up between the number. Let's say from hours uh, to days, it's 24 and then uh, from weeks to days, it's 7. Right, Ms. Kalai? We have to ah. see the units here. Okay. Yes, the units. Uh, the units that mm -hmm. required. Okay. Sometimes mm -hmm. 125 years, they ask in months straight away. But oh. here, we have combination. 125 years, they want in pair, years and months. Okay. Right. This, this will be a tough for the students. Okay. okay. So, kids out there, you have to refer to the mm -hmm. uh, relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. To the formula. We can tell it as formula also. So, years to months, we must see the relationship. So, we will either be times by 12 or divide mm -hmm. by 12. For that, you have to see the unit of, of the conversion. Conversion. Okay, okay. okay. Miss Kalai, that means um, if we want to convert it straight to months, that means the 10 years will have to times by 12, right, Miss Kalai? Yes. And then plus this. Yes. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a hot. You can uh, check your answers as what Shafika says. Okay, mm -hmm. 10 years you times by 12. How many months that? 12, right? So mm -hmm. you get 120. Right. 120 you plus with 5. Yeah, you are right. 125 years. Ah. The total you get the correct one. Okay. okay. Shall right. we move to the next section? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm guessing we're doing yeah, a bit I've of a. I set you a crossword puzzle. Crossword okay. puzzle. So there are the questions okay. across and down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, dear, you have to find the answers and take the answers, the numbers here, and you place it on the boxes here. Okay, Miss Are you Kalan. ready? I don't have to hop or anything, Shall we right? go to the action now? Yes, do it now. <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay, first one we look at the across. Mm -hmm. Across. Okay. Uh, three days equals to how many hours? 1.3 days is how many hours? Okay. No, no. Three days equals three to days. how many hours? Yes. Oh, okay. Three days is 24 hours times three. Ah. Yeah, because one day is equal to 24, 24 hours. hours. So what do you get me, madam? So that means 24 times three. So, I'll get uh, 12 here and then 72. Yeah, can you mm -hmm. place the numbers okay. in there? 72. All right, I'll go to this side. I have 7 and across. 2. You have to so across put it across. Here. 
Okay, Miss Kalai. Yeah, you're right. So number that's one. the first okay. one. Now we go down. Number one down. Uh -huh. Okay. Three weeks years. equals to how many days? Ah, three weeks equals to how many days? So in so a week... So back to the relationship, yes. The relationship. In a week, in one week, that's seven days. So that means I have to times seven with three. Three. So and you the get... the answer is 21. Yeah. Okay. So just put the one... Okay. Oh, because we already have, we have two, two there. there. Okay, All 21. Right. Okay, pupils, let's do this together with me. Yes. Have you gotten the right answer yet? Okay, okay now next. you go to number two across. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you read the answer? 13 years? 13 years equals to how many months? Okay. Ah, okay. So that means so one that means year equals one year to? One year equals to 12 months. So I have to times 12. 13 times 13. by 12. Mm -hmm. I have for you 13 times by 12. Yes. So we will have... 156. Yes. So I'll have to take one and Across. Six. One, five and six, yes. Okay. 156. So here? And here, Miss Kalai. Okay, now okay. we go to down. Halfway number down. two, down. Can mm -hmm. you read the question here? Alright, number two is six days, nine hours equals to how many hours? Yes. Okay, this is... So what a, shall you do in this uh, question? Alright, so it's talking about hours. So that means in one day, there's 24 hours. Uh, so for no, the six need days. of question is they want it in hours. They want in hours. So that means uh, 24 times 6. Is yes. that right? Okay. Ah. 6 times by 24. So what do you get? Um, 144. Okay. And then the balance. Nine. Yes, you should plus the 9. nine. So what do you get there? So I get 153. So we have 1 there. We okay. have 1 there and then we need 5 and 3. Yes. Okay, so this is down, so I need to go careful, down careful. here. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have another two questions more. Alright, two okay, more. Okay, we go three across. Eight, Eight decades. decades, three years is how many years? Okay. Ah, okay. The need, the need of question is they want in years. Right. So which one you should touch and convert there? Okay, so it wants in years, that means one a uh, decade is 10 years. Okay. So that so means it's 80, 80, 80 years, years plus and 3. And you have to plus with the balance 3. three. So you'll get 83. 83. You're right, dear. Okay. okay, the thing is over there. Just the tens place value. Okay. okay. The last one. The last one. Shafika, we have 7 three years. down, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Oh, there's already a clue there, actually. <laughs> okay, so the last. Uh, do you want me to read it out? Yes. Okay, we have 7 years, 2 months is how many months? Okay, so it wants it in months. That means for seven years, we have to times by 12. Why is it? Oh, because one year has 12 months. Because the question, they require in months. So they the years there, we convert to months first. Okay? Right, okay. So 12 times 7 is uh, 84, 84 plus 2. Yes. So that's about... Uh, 86. 86. We have the last one here. Okay. okay so it is 86. 86. Okay, I think this is the. Okay. There you go. So we've completed our crossword puzzle here. Yes, Shafika. So what? you have done with the three sets of uh, relationship. Can you tell them? Okay, uh, so the three sets of relationship that we had was days to hours, three days equals to 72 hours, and then we have 13 years equals to 156 months, and the third one is eight decades, three years equals to 83 years. And then for the down, we have three weeks equals to uh, 21 days, and then six days, nine hours equals to one, how many was that? 153, was it, Miss Kalai? Yes. Yes, 153. Yes. And then the last one, seven years, two months is equals to 86. Okay. Okay, okay you are superb. You are well done. Okay. Uh -huh. Actually, the three sets of times we learned just now is right. uh, days and hours. Days and hours. Weeks and? Weeks and? Days and hours. Weeks and? Hours. Days. Weeks and days, one week equals mm -hmm. to seven days, right. and uh, years and months. One years year month. equals to 12 months, 12 and months. how to convert it from days to months and days to hours and vice versa. Right. How to convert weeks to days and vice versa. How mm -hmm. to convert years to months and vice versa. 
Okay, okay. Miss Kalai. So for that very activity, how much maybe perhaps stars or marks can you give oh. me? <laughs> <laughs> I can give you 10 full marks. 10 okay? full yes, marks. 10 okay. out of 10. I okay. thought the full marks was 100, but 10 is good enough. Yes. <laughs> 10 out of 10 is 100, dear. <laughs> okay, great. So I've got my marks. How about you? Did you get the same answers as me just now? Don't forget, we have conversions. And don't forget the amount of number that you need to times or multiply to get the right answer. Okay, don't get it confused. We'll be right back on DDTV KPM. We'll see you then. you know, the Petronas Twin Towers in Malaysia took 6 years of 24 hours construction to complete. Hello, pupils. Welcome back to class. Ah, just now, we had a trivia saying how long the Petronas, the build of the Petronas Twin Tower took. And it says about 24, how, six, how long was that? Yes. 6 years and... Based on one full day 24 hours on to, uh, yes and how do you convert that perhaps you can do your own calculation as well but for now as you can see i have a whiteboard next to me i'm sure you're going to do more calculations so please maintain your notes maintain your pens and pencils to write down your notes and calculate with me don't leave me alone to calculate because today we are learning mathematics so we have to do it together all right miss kalai so what's next Okay, before mm -hmm. we move on, dear. All right. Uh, so far, you have answered all my questions. Okay. Correctly. So I would like to give you a star, gold star <gasps> for you. you. Okay. Miss Kala, I got a star, guys. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. So so far, what we have covered, Shafika? Okay. So for the first, se uh, the second segment, we've actually covered a bit of conversion and knowing the relationship uh, of units of times involving millennium, decades, and centuries. And then next, we covered about uh, weeks and hours. Um, and days. Um, weeks and days and days then and hours. days and hours years and months years and months yes, there right. you go okay. you had it so we move on okay mm -hmm. we move on to the uh, second one okay okay third one that is years decades and centuries oh, okay. okay what are the relationship between years decades and century okay Do you have any idea right uh, so what i know so far from your lesson uh, that we have years uh, two decades is a uh, uh, one decade is 10 years yes and also next centuries we have 100 years for one century yes mm -hmm. you're super good okay so years decades and centuries okay one decade is equals to uh, one year, uh, te one decade equals to ten, ten years. years. Okay? okay, and then we want to convert decade to years. We have to times by. 10, 10 of course because the relationship shows that 10 years okay. and vice versa from years to decade we have to divide, divide by 10. 10 okay you got it okay, okay. next right. one years uh, next one is uh, one century is equals to 100 years mm -hmm. okay as you say and to convert century to years we have to times it by 100 okay okay and divide by 100 to convert years to century Okay, wow. Can you repeat it, my dear? Of course. Okay, to convert centuries to uh, years, you have to times 100. And then to convert years to century, you have to divide by 100. How about uh, decade and years? From decade to years, to convert decade to years, you times by 10. And years to decades, you divide by 10. Okay. So, uh -huh. kids out there, the concept is same, okay? So, we look at the relationship mm -hmm. of the units of time, okay? okay. It's involving uh, 12 uh, multiples of 10 just now, mm -hmm. uh, 10s, 100, 1000, 12, 24, okay? So, when we use the 12, when we use the 24, so we must know the requirement mm -hmm. of the units, okay? okay? You have to see the units, okay? Mm -hmm. Since it is decade and years, the mm -hmm. partner, so you times by 12 or divide by, uh, times by 10 or divide by a 10. Okay? Right. Since it is uh, century and years, you mm -hmm. times by 100 and divide by uh, 100. Okay. okay. So you have to be very uh, smart on dividing and multiplication. Mm. Okay? All right. Okay. okay. So for this, 
I have a dice for you. Okay, okay. another I activity. I want you to play with dice. You throw the dice. Okay. okay what number you got? All I right. have a set of questions there. This is considered problem solving. Okay. Involving the relationship of time. Okay. okay. You need soft time. Let's Shall do we it. Shall start? All right. I think you are very eager to play. <laughs> yes. We have two, Okay, Ms. number Kalai. two. So, what's the question number two there? Okay. Okay, I read it out for you. All okay. right. In 2021, the Sultan uh, Abdul Samad building mm -hmm. is 125 years old. That mm -hmm. means currently, okay. okay, the Sultan Abdul Samad building is 125 years old. Okay. Convert the age of the building to century and years. <gasps> okay. All right. So it it's involving years and century. Yeah. Okay. In 2021, the is 125. Currently, it is 125 okay. years. I'm pretty sure that everyone knows that building, right? Okay. Okay. 125 years. You have convert. to give it in century and years. Yes, century and years. So that means the answer will be century and years here, yeah? Yes. Okay. So, so here you have to find out how many century are there in 125 years. Okay, so century, I'll do this very quickly. Two years. The formula is Times. Wow, you can write the formula. Okay. 100, is that fine? So, uh, the kids can see clearly. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, to convert uh, years to century, you have to divide by 100. Yes. So, that means it's 1 century, one century and, and 25 years. Yes, you are right. Yay. Okay. She did okay. That. All Good right. Good job. Okay. okay. Can you continue? All right. <laughs> one last uh, time. Sure. Okay. Okay. We got number five. But luckily, we don't have number okay, five. Okay, let's try this okay, again. Okay, second attempt. Number three, Mr. Number Mr. three, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three, it sounds like Mr. Smith owns an antique car. Mm -hmm. Age, two decades and eight years. Okay. Two Can decades, down? And, two eight decades years. and eight years. Okay. All right. This is called antique car. Okay. There are many out there, they like to collect the antique car. Okay. How whole is the antique car in here? In years. So the whole thing they want in year. Okay. Equals to years. Okay, all right. So one decade is 10 years. So two decades will be 20 years. So 20 years plus 8 years is 28 years. Is wow, that right? Wow, you're Kalai? right. Yes. Okay. So we want to convert two decades, 8 years into years. So mm -hmm. they are 28 years. Right. Because why? Two decades is equals to 20 plus with 8 is 28 years. You are right. Very good. <laughs> I am very thrilled to be learning today with you because I'm sure when I go back home, I will be learning a lot of, I will be saying a lot of these vocabularies, millenniums, decades, centuries, and make use of that, centuries, yes. and make use of that with all my friends as well. But uh, we've reached the end of the show, unfortunately, and perhaps a bit of a conclusion from you from what we've learned today. Okay, mm -hmm. so kids out there, I believe that you have learned uh, the relationship with the millennium, mm -hmm. uh, centuries and decades, okay? And also how to convert the units that we highlighted today, the three sets, the four sets of units, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, you able to integrate and apply this conversion of units in your daily life. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Thank you for that, Miss Kalai. And also, perhaps for uh, pupils at home who wants to do more activities or exercises for today's class, where can they go? Okay. Mm. So, kids, for more details uh, on the topic today, you can visit our web page of uh, KPM. That is Sumbaku. You oh, have. Right. You can find numerous of fun activities in Sumbaku. Okay. okay, that's great. As shown on our screen right now. All right, Miss Kalai, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm sure a lot of pupils out there have had a lot of uh, information about today's lesson and perhaps do your exercises, focus on the things that are important and make sure you write down your notes and remember them by applying and doing more exercises. All right, Miss Kalai, I'm pretty sure for our ending, we have a very nice poem delivered yes. by you. <laughs> ah, to know poem more about that. Poem time. Poem about time. That's interesting. All right. But stay tuned for Miss Kalai's poem. Thank you very much, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Salam sejahtera. Bye bye. Miss Kalai, the floor is yours. Yeah. Time is slow. Time is fast. It never stops, but it always lasts. It's time for bed. It's time for school. To waste your time is to be full. If the time is right, the timing will be perfect. Having the time of your life will always be worth it. Some spend their time mad. Some 
spend their time set. For some people, time is all they ever had. Some people have lots of time to spare. Others spend their time not having a care. It's time to stop. It's time to go. It's time to stop. It's time to go. Time can move fast or it can move slow. Time can move fast or it can move slow. You can lose yourself or lose your mind. You can lose yourself or lose your mind. But as life goes on, we never lost the time. But as life goes on, we never lost the time. Thank you. That was beautiful. Bye bye. Dede TV KPM.